What's going on guys? I'm Andrew McCann for Kingdom in Meridian, Mississippi and today I'm going to be showing you all this brand new 2023 Forest River Wildwood Heritage Glen model number 310BHI. This is a two bedroom, one bath layout and let's take a look at some of the numbers. I hope you guys can hear over the wind. Total length of 38 feet 8 inches, dry width of 9,000 pounds, gross vehicle weight rating of 11,400, and you've got right at 2,000 pounds of available cargo capacity. Two air conditioners, heated holding tanks, fully laminated sidewalls. We are going to start on the inside of the coach first and then make our way out. But if you're new here, we do welcome you to the channel. If any time during the video you like what you see, drop me a thumbs up and let's get started. So before we get started, what is your opinion on RVs with glass on the front? I've given a lot of mixed reviews from my customers. Some seem to like it, some dislike it. I honestly love having bigger windows, especially the one on the front. It just seems to make smaller spaces seem a lot more bigger. But let's get you orientated slightly with the RV. But this is a new 2023 Wildwood Heritage Glen, model number 310BHI. It's got three total slides, two of which are found here in your living slash kitchen. Your master bedroom's all the way in the front. Your bunk room will be located in the back. And this is gonna be your view while lounging in your theater seats, watching your really big 15 inch smart TV. Notice the electric fireplace down on the bottom and right above it is your sound bar with inside and outside speakers. Your fridge is a 12 volt compressor fridge. This does work off of the 200 watt solar panel found on the roof. There's also a smart charger on board that sends over kind of like monitors that the charge, I'm a little tongue twisted. The smart charger is gonna monitor the charge coming from the solar panel. It keeps the battery from undercharging as well as overcharging. It just pretty much extends the life of that battery on board, which is a good thing. You don't want to spend, you know, close to $150 to $300, depending on which battery you get, and just to have it go out in a matter of a year, maybe two. This is a really big pantry. I've seen some RVs have bathrooms smaller than the pantry on the side of this travel trailer here. You even have a pretty cool little place to hang your coats. Let's look at your furniture now. So Thomas Payne Collection Furniture, of course you have the theater seats here with additional storage and the cup holders provided. Really, really big windows. The coach will give you sleeping room possibly for seven with the overflow here in the kitchen. This lays flat to a bed. I'll try to leave some pictures of it as we go throughout the video. Your windows in the kitchen are trimmed out with a valance and you have gray roller shades right over here is going to be what I call a coffee prep station nice little place for an additional accessory keeping it out of the way maybe from the main prepping area over here you do have 110 outlets provided let's go ahead and head all the way up to the main bedroom in the front before going over the bunk area So heading all the way to the front, really big open way. You've got probably a 36 inch sliding door. I guess I should have lowered the bed before coming in, but that's all right, I'll show you now. Storage under the bed, you do have the hydraulic cyst. And this is gonna be the best advice anybody could give you when buying a camper. If you want a good night's sleep in your new RV, go ahead and take the mattress that is provided and throw it out the window, throw it out the door because you're not going to get a good night's sleep in my opinion. I've asked every single customer I've that sold, what's your opinion of the mattress? And they all say the same. It's the first thing that goes. Second air conditioner on board is a 13.5. It's just going to keep this area here cool. However, the main air conditioner in the back is ducked all the way throughout. And take a look at this natural light coming through here. But if you don't like it, you can close it off and you have a 
cut out on both sides to have access for a CPAP machine with 110 and USB outlets. So washer and dryer prepped at the foot of the bed. Let's close this. You probably have right at maybe 18 to 24 inches of walking space to get around the bed. TV connections are over the window. Be sure to have a professional do that. We get it in sometimes where people have drilled all the way through the exterior wall. You can possibly mount a stackable or a combo washer and dryer. We can provide those for you here at Camper Kingdom. And if you have a vent, there's the dryer vent location center line for the manufacturer, excuse me, the tech to cut their hole. Coming inside your bathroom, your linen closet, kind of small porcelain foot flush toilet. You got right at probably an eight inch step up to get into the two piece plastic shower. Ceiling height is six foot three, but you also have the additional skylight plus ventilation and your shower curtain is this really different. That's, I haven't seen that color in a make and model yet. According to the style, the manufacturer claims it's a, a it's self drying. So when it is, is retracted back, it does squeegee itself, but I still recommend leaving that in the open position. Coming back to your bunk room, you got the Versa furniture that will open up to a queen size bed. Single bunk on the top. Let's get this open for you. I'll try to leave some more additional photos of this opened up all the way into its sleeping arrangement as you go throughout the video again. This is going to be the entertainment for all of your guests. There are TV connections in there. You can maybe mount probably a 40 inch TV easily. You notice the handle, so I'm guessing the manufacturer is wanting you to utilize the shells as a ladder to get your guests up there. Separate door. And this is the main 15K air conditioner. So at date and time of making this video, MSRP, manufacturer suggested retail price. Maybe you can pause the video here. MSRP of 72,478. Our price, of course, being much, much lower. Our contact information is in that description down below. Also, there's a link to my website where you can view more additional photos of each make and model that I carry. If you don't like anything on the outside, you can always help me out by leaving a couple of thumbs up down below, maybe even a comment telling me where you're from. What do you like or even dislike? Let's come around to the main side of the coach over here. I call this the non-camp side. We're gonna go over a couple of things here. But the coach is gonna be riding on a 12 inch I-beam construction and it is stabilized from two sets of electric jacks, one in the front as well in the rear. And you've got an electric tongue jack on the front also. The first upgrade I can already see is upgrading maybe the two smaller propane bottles to the larger ones, but you have two 10 pounds and that is your battery housing there. This is what I call a three quarter cap. It goes down three quarters of the way and it's finished off with a kind of a diamond plate material to assist with rocks slinging up maybe from the vehicle's tires. And you also have LED docking lights. These make finding your camper so much easier. I really hope you guys can hear. The winds are extremely high today. Pass through compartment and just some of the main construction on board of the coach. And right over there is that smart charge, but I'll point it out when we get around there. Slam latches. And this is the first set of jacks. That is the switch to control the front set. These are only gonna go down until they feel about 10 pounds of pressure before they completely turn themselves off. They do not level the camper. These are only designed to keep it sturdy, stabilized. So today the winds are gusting, no kidding, of about 20 miles per hour. Notice the door, it's not even moving. Friction hinge does a really great job. Step above steps, you have the larger step on the upper platform compared to these to assist with transitioning over. Outdoor speakers, two separate awnings, and your TV connections are here. That's your TV connection 
shows you the mount and connections are here outdoor kitchen some like it some dislike it i also find this extremely beneficial especially if you cook a lot of bacon do breakfast on the outside but be cautious of this this is the exhaust for your furnace so if you're camping in the winter you got your heater running just be careful of that exhaust propane griddle your countertop here is a metal sheet metal so that's nice compared to sometimes when manufacturers just want to put like a pressed particle board here average hill fridge plumb sink with hot and cold water that's nice and this is the second set of stabilizers for the back again those are only going to go down to they feel about 10 pounds of pressure let me see if i can come around and get out of the wind some here on the back of the coach you got blindside camera prep four by four two with the bumper good place to store your water line all of your slides are rack and pinion slides you have city water connections black tank flush and fresh water feel all located here city water excuse me park cable and satellite hookups sewer connections on board of coast you have two different locations back here in the back you have a gray and then you have multiple gray and black handles over here so possibly several could you know sewer lines needed to possibly hook everything up in unison that's the six gallon gas electric hot water heater and the coach is provided with a 25 foot power cord that's it right there it has that smart charger which controls the charge from that solar panel on the roof down to that charger over to the house battery keeping everything nice and charged overall it's a really big coach i again i recommend pulling this with at least a three quarter ton i get several customers often thinking that their half ton can safely tow this but i disagree with that continue to like and subscribe and leave your comments down below come see us